Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Google calendar and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you make your Google calendar private? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to make your Google calendar private anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you share your Google calendar with your employees, customers, maybe on certain websites, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Google Calendar. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Google Calendar and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to make one of your Google Calendars private that were public previously, what you're going to do is here on the left, you're going to see all the calendars you have. Go ahead and just hover over the calendar that you want to make private. If you made more than one calendar public, you're going to have to do this one by one. So we'll go ahead and choose this one. And next, what you're going to do is click on the three dots next to the name of the calendar. Once you do that, you'll see this menu and you want to click here, settings and sharing. Once you click there, make sure you're working in the correct calendar. So this is the name of the calendar right here at the top. And all you're going to do is just scroll down a little bit about halfway down. Okay, guys. So here is how you can make your Google calendar private. So as you can see with this calendar, I made it public previously. So anybody on Google or anybody who has the link to this particular calendar can see all the events on it. So first thing you want to do is make sure this box is unchecked. Okay. Now that it's unchecked, the only people who can see this calendar are going to be me and anybody who I shared the calendar with previously. So that's done. Next, what you want to do is go right here where it says share with specific people or groups. You can see here's me at the top, but also here below my name, it's going to show all the people or groups that I've shared this calendar with. In order to make it private, you're going to have to remove them. So right next to their name or their email, you're going to click on this X. Immediately, you can see their name and their email disappears. So they no longer have access to this particular calendar. Okay. Lastly, what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see the iCal seeker address. So if you had shared this with an application, you're going to want to reset that as well. So click right here, reset. Okay. Next, you're going to see this pop-up. They're asking, are you sure you want to reset? the secret address, it's going to invalidate any existing secret addresses. So any application that you shared this with, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to redo the integration. If you're okay with that, click on reset. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. So now you've made your Google calendar private. And again, if you have multiple Google calendars like mine, let me go back. Okay. So here's my Google calendar. So we took care of that for this red calendar here. If you've shared multiple calendars, you're going to have to do that same process here throughout all of your calendars. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to make your Google calendar private, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.